All right, so this is our hydroponics kit, and this is everything that comes included with the kit. Uh, so this is our basic system. Uh, we have the base that's called the reservoir, and the top where the drippers, where the water and nutrients from the reservoir is dripped out through these drippers. Uh, we have two different types of nutrients. We have the pink bottles that are meant for flowering plants. These are the ones like your tomatoes, your cucumbers, strawberries, and that, that they're going to flower before you, that gives you a fruit or a vegetable. Then you have your green bottles here that are meant more for your green vegetables, like your lettuce, your kale, your spinach, any kind of herb, that type of thing. So that's what you'd use those for. So these are the net pots. You get 12 of these pots that you can grow uh, individual plants in, and each of the pots have holes in them. That's where the roots are able to grow out through the, uh, the pot and grow down into the water and nutrients, and be a, that actually speeds up the progress of their growth. So we'll put these in each of these holes. You have to have growing medium. So instead of soil, we're going to be growing uh, the plants in rock wool. And rock wool is basically a spun stone. And it's used to support the roots as well as uh, help the roots get any um, water and nutrients to them. Uh, just kind of soaks up and uh, spreads through that way. Then it's still able to uh, drip down through and recirculate through the system back out through the drippers again. Okay, so along with these, these are your main nutrients that you're going to use week to week. Uh, you also have these two added in, uh, nutrients. You have your OptiCal, which is going to add a little extra magnesium, which is going to improve the strength and growth of the green part of the plant. So you'll use this no matter you're going to be using flowering plants or whether or not you're going to be growing just green veggies. So this will be added approximately week six, maybe a little bit sooner. Uh, depending on the progress of your plant growth. Then you have your Giga Boost, and this increases the amount of potassium and phosphorus as well as some other nutrients that you're going to want to use uh, that's going to improve the boost of the blossoms. So when you want to get the plants to bloom, to get the blossoms to come out, to get the fruit, uh, that's when you're going to want to start adding the Giga Boost. <coughs> um, with the kit, you're also going to get a submersible pump. So the pump is placed in the bottom of the system, and that screws <laughs> that screws down to down into the pump like this. You attach it to the hose there. So you place the pump in the bottom and you push it to the bottom so the suction cup sticks to the bottom, keeping it under the water. You take the, uh, the cord and you pull it out through the hole in the side of the system. And so that way it's ready to plug in. Don't plug it in until your water's in there, your nutrients are mixed, and everything is set to go. So that sets up the plug. Um, after you've mixed all the nutrients and everything, we've given you a pH tester kit, and you're going to check the pH. The pH is really, really important to the plants because it's what, it's how the plants are able to absorb the nutrients and the water better. If the pH is wrong, they're not going to want to accept the water and nutrients, and they're probably going to die or get sick. So you're going to check the pH level of it. There's a pH chart that's, count that's included in the manual, and what you want to do is take, take a look at what vegetable you're planning on growing, look at the scale, the range that your pH is supposed to be, and make sure that your pH falls in that. Sometimes the water, once the nutrients is mixed into it, 
is fine that you don't need to adjust it but sometimes it's a little too high which is a little too basic or a little too low which is very acidic so what you're going to do then is you're going to add some pH down if the number is too high to bring the number down to where you want it or some pH up to bring the number up to where you want it so you'll add that check mix it in really well and check the the uh, pH level again also included in the system is this UV grow light and this is a really good one that gives you more optimal growing for your system all right, so now we're going to make some nutrients. We're planning on growing lettuce, so we're going to use the green ones. So you start with the A, and you need to have one milliliter per liter of water. Now we've already got 32 liters of water in here, so we're going to add 32 milliliters to the, uh, to the water. So that's about two tablespoons plus a half of a teaspoon. That's probably a better idea to not measure this out over the water because if you dump too much in there then you would kind of have to start over again you would would have to start over again So that's the A. Now very, very important to make sure you stir and mix it well because you don't want to combine them. If they were meant to be combined in their concentrated form, they'd be in just one bottle. So make sure when there's separate bottles that you stir and mix well in between the addition of each nutrient. All right. Same amount. And stir it in. So we're going to uh, check the pH level. Get some water from the reservoir. Make sure you check the directions on each different pH tester because they all work a little bit differently and uh, follow, follow for each one. So there's a little chart. You gotta compare it to the chart and this shows that uh, we're somewhere between 5.5 and 6.0. And we're going to check the pH range of the lettuce. And the lettuce is 6.5 to 7. All right, so uh, we're going to get some pH up. You're going to add only small amounts at a time. So we're going to start with one teaspoon and see how much that alters it to the left. And we're going to stir it in. Check the pH again.
So we're going to plant the seeds into some of the pieces of the rock wool. Uh, do we have a pencil or a pen or something? You guys got a pen or anything? So you're going to use something pointy just to kind of put a hole into them. And you're going to put two or three seeds in each one. And you're going to do a couple for each net pot. Alright, so now that the seeds are planted into the rock wool, you have to make the rock wool a little bit damp. So I've taken some of the nutrients from the reservoir and put it into this container outside. So we can take the, the net pot, place it down, till all the rock wool soaks up some of the nutrients. And then place it back into the container. And you do that for all of them. And that helps to germinate the seeds because they've got the nutrients in the water that they need to, to grow. Okay, so now the seeds are ready for germination. They're in there, they have the nutrients in the water. Um, we're going to set this in its place now, plug in the pump so that the drippers start dripping on them. And then you're gonna, we're gonna place like a garbage bag or a piece of cardboard over it to kind of keep them in the dark. Uh, we need to keep them in the dark until they start to sprout. And once they start to sprout even the smallest amount, you need to put the light on over it. Put the light and mount it about one to two inches away from what's the what's growing and uh, you don't need to wait for all 12 to sprout just as soon as you see even one so that's that's how you get started